Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can model in the fastest way possible an elegant 3D metal stand in Autodesk Fusion. This metal laptop stand was manufactured by the company Moss Serle from Romania. The sleek metal laptop stand improves ergonomic posture by raising the screen to the eyes level, enhance airflow to keep your laptop cool and frees up desk space for a more efficient workspace. Without any other hesitation, let's get started. Before every single drawing, the units are very important. So in order to set them correctly, let's go here and we will check. As you can see, our units are millimeters, grams, so everything is fine. Because our laptop support is made from metal and we have some bendings, we will go to the sheet metal tab. Here we will create a new component and we will name it, why not, laptop support. And we will use sheet metal rule, it will be metal of 4 millimeters. so I will set OK. If you have questions or you want to learn more about the metal rules, you have the other tutorials on my channel or you can check my new metal course, link in description. We'll start now through a new sketch. So we'll go to the create, create sketch, select a plan, for example this one, and we'll start to build three lines. So press the L letter or go to this feature and start with a new line, a vertical one, with a length of 150 millimeters. After that, we will construct another one, so also press the L letter, and this one it will be of 190 millimeters. And the third one, and last one at the same time, another one with a length of 225 millimeters, press the tab key to work now with the angle and to block the length, it will be at an angle of 162 degrees. After that, you are done and press finish sketch. After that, we'll go to the flange feature, Select all three lines, go in each direction you want, and let's set some rules. So, the distance, first of all, it will be of 235 millimeters. Because I want those dimensions to be external, so outside, we will go to the side to option, as you can see here. And I will adjust it, bend override. I will go to radius of 4. As you can see, there is a huge difference between 1, 4, 5. I mean, we will go with a bigger radius here, just to be easier for our future bend. And we will see later why. Good. Now we will construct a new bend. So we'll go to flange feature again, select this one, we'll go up, and here we will change in symmetric, first of all. The distance, it will not be the entire distance here, it will be 45 millimeters. As you already guessed it, this one it will be a little stop for the laptop for not going down. After that, the height it will be 15 millimeters and inner face here we'll select and adjacent. And then press OK. Now here at the surface we will create a new sketch. So right click, create sketch, double click on the mouse wheel, press the P letter for the project feature. If you don't know where it is this feature, you can go here to create, project and project. Now we'll create a parallel line. Select this line, now press the O letter for the offset and right here minus 20.25. At the middle, we'll create a circle. So press the C letter or go here, center diameter circle and we will create a circle here with a radius of 16.25. But because here we have diameter, we'll write 16.25 times 2. Finish sketch, extrude, and let's extrude this part, just to be easier to hold up our laptop. To be even more smoother and not cut yourself, we will add here some radius. Keep in mind this one, it will be from metal and not from plastic. We will go to the fillet feature, we will select these two edges and we will write 5 millimeters. Inside we will have the same story, but the radius it will be a little bit smaller. So we'll go to the fillet again and we'll write 2. Now we will focus on this side. Right click, create sketch. P from project again, enter. We'll create now a new line with a length of 255 millimeters. We'll add now some points. So press the S letter for sketch shortcuts, write point here. 
and place a point exactly in the middle where we can see that turquoise triangle and the same story here also in the middle select it press m letter go to point to point origin point it will be this one target point this one and then press ok now let's construct another line a vertical one with a length of 30 millimeters now go to the create arc three point arc select this point and the other point and you should stop where you see this tangent constraint and now let's add another radius to be even more smoother a radius of 500 for example to have the same thing in the other side as well, let's construct a mirroring line. Select the line feature, try to find the middle and go up and now S, mirror, but select the first one with the empty space inside because the other one is for the 3D workspace. Now we are in a 2D workspace. Mirror, object, this arch, this radius and the small line. Mirror line, it will be this one. OK, finish sketch. And now let's extrude, as you guessed it. Until we reach the other side, operation absolute, it will be join. And here we will add another radius. So go to the fillet, select this edge, select the opposite edge, and write 35. And now we are ready to go. The same thing we'll do it on the back side. So go here, right click, create sketch, flip it. Project, so press the P letter and we'll do the same thing. First of all, we will create a line 245 for this time, but as you can see, to be even more elegant, the primary part or the upper part it will be slightly wider to be a better holder for the laptop. Again, create some points S from sketch shortcuts, points, a point here in the middle and here as well, select it M from move copy feature point to point first point second point now press l for another line we'll go up perpendicular 28 millimeters arc three point arc as you can saw from here to here and just to be sure in the upper side it will be tangent then press OK, we'll add now again a radius, a radius of 500, and now we will mirror it. Let's construct first the mirror line, L letter, S for sketch shortcuts, mirror, arch, this radius and this small line, mirror line, OK. Finish sketch, and as you guessed it, extrude, so press the E letter until you reach the other surface join okay and again a radius not to cut yourself a radius of 35 again good and when it comes to our design we will add here a small cutting model just to be sure that our laptop it will be weld cooled down while it works i choose a pretty neutral style so let me show you right click create sketch P from project. After that, we will create a point. So, S point, let's place it here. For example, it doesn't matter too much. This distance is 235. Now we'll go to the sketch dimension to be sure that it is exactly in the middle or in a good spot at least. From here to here, we'll have 235 divided by 2. So, it is in the middle. And from there to here, we'll have 109. Good. On it, we will construct a polygon, actually an inscript one. So we'll go up with 6 millimeters. Okay, now we'll create two lines which are extremely important. You will see immediately why. So two perpendicular lines actually. So starting from the middle or from the center and going perpendicular on these two edges. Let's also make them construction lines. And this one too. Good, now we'll go to the rectangular pattern, select the entire thing, directions, you guessed it, this one it will be, and this one too, to have this pattern, and the quantity now. First of all, spacing, it is fine. After that, the quantity, 
it will be 7, the distance it will be 15, symmetric, quantity 7 again, distance 15 is good, and symmetric again, and then press OK. And our model should look like this. And now we will extrude them to make a cut. Finish sketch, extrude, or press the E letter, and now you just select all of them. The operation it will be cut so it is fine and this is our final product we will add the material so press the a letter from appearance and we will write here powder coat and we'll select black one and for the final touch as you can see here this band it will be fine but the other one it will not be technically possible so in order to do that we will make it a manual band. I will show you how. First of all, let's unfold this laptop support. So we'll go here to unfold, select this face, now bends, and here and here as well. Now we are working on this side. Right click, create sketch, flip it, project here here and on this part we will add a pattern here for this manual cut i will use this pattern this pattern i found it online but if you want to use it as well you can download it for free from my description so link below but if you want to construct by yourself or to slightly change it you are free to do it just for a short info you have here three millimeters inside three millimeters this entire thing is nine so it three here as well between those two lines you have three so actually you'll work with three millimeters now select it move it point to point target point it will be this one origin point actually and the target point it will be here okay finish sketch and now extrude but extrude only these parts Cut, OK. And now after that, just refold the faces. And your model should look like this. And this is our final product. This is the laptop stand I designed. Thanks to it, the laptop is now at the same height as the main monitor and my working position is much more ergonomic. I can use the laptop as a second screen without hunching over or sitting in an uncomfortable posture. This laptop stand was made by Mosh Home, a brand specialized in professional sheet metal processing. The material used is 4mm thick sheet metal, precisely cut using advanced equipment. The bending process was done in two stages. The first bend on the AppCant press brake machine and the second bend manually, the only way to achieve the complex and ergonomic shape of the piece. After shaping, the stand was carefully sanded for clean edges, then coated with an electrostatic paint finish and baked in the oven for increased durability and a flawless professional look. Mosh Home offers both series products and custom-made pieces with each project handled with great care, from the 3D model to the finished product. I hope this video helped you. Learn more about the program and don't hesitate to collaborate with me. Any service is just a click away. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.